this is the next video in the series of uh, videos that we have come up with for the explanation of the internal assessment in the IBDP program. So today's topic is about criterion C, that is the development document. This document carries the highest number of marks in any given document for the whole IA, which is around 12 marks. The maximum number of marks in this is 12. Now, if you look at this, uh, you go into the last mark band, that is the 9 to 12 mark band, only when you show techniques or use the techniques with very high complexity and also appropriate for your software, <coughs> for the product you are developing. So you need to give an explanation as to why this particular technique has been used in my product. What is the purpose of it? What is the importance of it? That has to be explained in words. And please remember that there is a word count for this document. Now, what does this document include? It is uh, It includes the UML diagram of your program. So in the case of uh, uh, a program, a software uh, program written in a programming language, like Java or whatever, you need to include the UML diagram. That is all the classes and the link between these classes. And if you're doing a database for a solution, then you would require to add the relationship diagram as well as the normalization process of your database. And uh, screenshots of your complex code and a brief explanation of why it is suitable to perform the task it does. So that explanation of why also has to be given. Identification of any sources used. Also, this, uh, this is also required. The citation is required. And the word count is nearly 1,000 words. Now, coming to the first part of it, the UML diagrams. You have to use object-oriented programming. Objects and uh, complex data structures like linked lists or queues or 2D arrays, is, for example. If you really want to go beyond three marks in this criterion, you should probably uh, use these kind of features in it. Now, coming to the second part, that is complex code. You need to explain your complex techniques as well as explain or justify why that technique is required for your product. The why of it is extremely important. Please do not ignore it. Now, uh, as you can see, in uh, you have the techniques used and you have uh, written A's, local variables, B's, parameter passing. These are all various techniques that you have used in your code. Now, the explanation where you are giving for arrays, for example, you just pick out statements from your code, take screenshots of that, and then paste it under the arrays concept. And then you mention why that was necessary for the product. So this explanation is actually very, very important. Please do not ignore the explanation. What makes your code complex? When you say code, com code must be complex, what makes it complex? Pick around six to eight examples of the things actually done within the product. And then uh, they should also be something that you could explain easily. And if you use ex exception handling in your code, that's extremely good. You can use file handling. You can use graphical user interfaces in your program. And if it uses nested loops or you know, sorting techniques or you know, any other kind of uh, these techniques or uh, in inheritance and polymorphism, if you implement these object-oriented programming concepts within your code, it will certainly make it complex enough. Now, the third part, of the document is to mention the sources. That is, the sources have to be mentioned uh, in a specific kind of a format, which is the uh, format that is actually used in your school. So you need to get back to your uh, teacher and ask what kind of a format are they following. And you need to do your references in that particular format itself. MLA is just an example of it. Now, what are all the things that require referencing? Any code, any piece of code, be it small, be it large, one line code, one paragraph code, or one whole program, whatever it is, 
that you have used or borrowed or adapted from any source, please do mention it. Because once they come across code, which seems that is copied from some source and it has not been referenced, uh, probably you will be uh, losing marks for that. And you can use the site, citethisforme.com to uh, help you with the citation.